I was on Facebook when I saw the announcement that Donald Trump had been indicted. And two things kind of came up. The first is this. I consider myself to be a healthy man. But if I went to the doctor and the doctor did complete blood work, urinalysis, and other things, no matter how healthy I think I am, the doctor could find something that is not within normal limits. And that's how the legal system has treated Donald Trump. The second thing is, I saw people celebrating and made me wonder how many of these people are celebrating are Christians. And there are a lot of things. For example, God said a vengeance is his and he will avenge. But the Bible also warns us to not gloat when we see our enemy falls, lest the Lord removes his wrath from him. So I wonder how many people are being led by the Spirit of God regarding their reactions or if they've been led by the spirit of their political agenda. Again, like me, you may consider yourself a healthy person, but if someone digs enough, they'll find something wrong with you. The same thing with legal system. If people want to use the legal system against you, they can find something that you violated. Of course, one of the big things they like to check, your taxes. So just be careful when you see someone being dealt with. And also this, in Acts 5, the members of the Sanhedrin were coming against the apostles. And Gamaliel, a doctor for law, had a little bit of sense to say that if this work is of men, it will fail. But if you continue fighting against them, you will find yourself fighting against God. And scripture also lets us know, if God be for you, who can be against you? So whichever side you're on, please make sure you're ultimately on the Lord's side. And also that you're doing things commensurate with his word, will, and way. When the Lord appeared to King Solomon in a dream at night, and he asked him for anything, he told him to ask him for anything that he wanted. Solomon basically asked him for wisdom, for the administration of justice over the Lord's people. And one thing the Lord said is that because he had not asked for the life of his enemies, that he was going to bless him not only with wisdom, but also with wealth. So be careful about anyone that you consider your enemy. When that person seems as if he or she's gonna fall, because also nothing people aren't considering, what if they were in Donald Trump's shoes? Would they wanna be treated the same way? Because here's also this, I close with this final note. One day, we will all have to appear before Lord Jesus Christ to give an account of the things we have done. And if those things have not been cleansed slash covered by the blood of a lamb, imagine how far he can dig into our lives. All the way back from the day we were born. So when you see others, in a sense, seemingly going down, just imagine if it were you. And a lot of people, they're going to find out when they stand for Lord Jesus Christ to give an account of themselves. And they're going to find out what it's like to be like. They're going to find out what it's like when they are picked apart for every single thing that has not been forgiven by the blood of the Lamb.